这个就是进价的快手店。几年跟现在不快手店呢，其实真的是金光闪闪。这个就是刚才所拍的加量，加量呢是他们买粮，表明呢度量恒定，天下一统。我们这边呢具有他的号、线号以及青铜、呃神龟。看完了加量的进账，我们就来看这个日葵的进账。那么这个日葵呢？日葵就是中国古代彻日行、彻日饮定时刻的计时器。那么就象征着皇帝拥有向天下万民授时的最高权力。这就是这个日葵了。就是太好看了，那一块。谢谢您了，我的伤都哑了。谢谢您了，走起来了，都不能坐红到这站着了啊！这是皇帝坐的地方，福利大门登记就坐这儿。那这个就是在里面的。这些呢，就是他们的太和电脑门。This is the famous palace, the greatest palace for inside this forbidden city. And you can see the architecture. This is the palace, inside of the palace. The greatest building, the greatest structure. This is the palace. This is 铜缸，而这个铜铁缸呢，却是宫里面用来防火的设备之一，用来储水以便灭火之用。You can see this is the outside structure of the roof. All these are actually a very beautiful sculpture. Just now we cannot enter the main hall because it's fully protected. Only the highest level people can enter. 只有国家政治人物、主要政治人物可以进去里面。我们不都旅客都不行进去太和殿。我们看看墙壁上的雕刻都是蛮有、呃、蛮细致的。这就是中和殿。中和殿呢是给王帝在此休息。呃，在我们去那个太和殿前，就在此休息。接受官员的跪拜礼。这个就是中和殿，一个小小一点的殿，是皇帝休息的地方。中和殿。This is a place where the king will take a rest before he sits. 哎，这个呢就是金沙洞，金沙庄，所以就看到很很反光的。This is the golden reflective floor。Then this is the roof. This is a place where the king will take a rest before he sits. 对、okay, ，这个就是百合殿，呃，外朝的三大殿的最后一殿。而这个百合殿呢，就是皇帝呢在此更衣，那么过后他就会去中和殿休息，然后才会去呃这个金銮殿那边呢上朝。这里呢也是给科举考试，呃，以及他宴请呃这个西族贵客，或者是他的皇帝嫁女儿之用的。那么这个就是百合殿。那百合殿用的建筑方法就是宋朝的建筑方法，所以里面就比较空堂，就适合呃呃学呃考生们的进场考试。The place where the the emperor will change 
clothing before proceed to the next one, whereas before. The Taro Party. So this is a place whereby the emperor will also uh, organize the yearly uh, best and also any uh, any dinner will be here as well. This one, this place is also a Jinshan Zhuan Shuojian. This is called Tanghua Huang Chan. This is also a very open space. The table is also very small. This is also called Jian Zhu Zhao Special Fire. It is removed from the kitchen. Two pieces of Jian Zhu Zhao Special Fire space. 那么我们在这更衣，那么也是宴请皇宫大臣。而这里呢，就是一条界限，把内廷与外朝分开的一个界限。那么呢，你们展示一看，这里都到处都有青铜，用来装水之用，储蓄水、灭火等用处。第一道门呢，要进去的就是乾清门。进了乾清门呢，就会看到乾清宫、交泰殿以及昆明宫，就是他们的内廷。那么呢？你妈在家里？八百多斤重。七幺九二百多斤，在哪里家里？So, this one is the Jiu Long Diao, the Jiu Wu Zi Jun. This is the Shui Shou. You have nine dragons here. It means the emperor is the king of the nine dragons. And the stone was from Huang Shen. This is the history of the Shui Shou. This is the Shui Shou. This is the Shui Shou. This is the Shui Shou. 大石雕，这个就是代表九五至尊的九条判头。好，我们就向乾清门迈进，这个叫做乾清宫啦、啊。乾清门乃是永乐十八年建成，但是又毁于火，又重建过。那么呢，这个呢就是呃。皇帝的御门听政处，所以皇帝在这边就听官员奏事及做出决定。御门听政呢，就是以康熙时最为频繁，可是咸丰之后呢，就不再办了。This is a place where the emperor will listen to the to the to the metals bring up by the by the others people, and, but is rare is used is later abandoned. 